first of all, looking forward to the weekend, I would imagine, uh, to, to reach a National Cup final. Yeah, definitely. It's a massive game. Um, we, we got together as a group at the start of the season and, and set out objectives and goals for us. And, you know, one was definitely to try and you know, go as far in co uh, cup competitions as we can. Um, you know, regardless of what teams are still left in it, uh, we always feel that we've, we can challenge in these cups and, you know, go all the way. So, um, as I said, it's a big game and we'll be looking to take it one step further this time and, and reach the final. It's been a big season for you this season so far, hasn't it? I mean, you've you played the vast majority, if not all, the league games. Um, is this the most consistent spell of form that you've had? Um, I think so, yeah. Uh, I think it's just a consistent run of the team, you know, playing every minute of every game so far in the league is uh, something I'm quite proud of and something that I, you know, want to uh, do throughout the season. Uh, I think having, you know, a kind of stable and steady back four or, you know, back three beside me helps. Um, you know, Paul McGinn and Paul Hanlon have been brilliant all season beside me. And, uh, you know, I've, I've obviously not played as much of the cup games. I've, um, obviously, because of the international breaks being you know over the, the cup games as well, so the boys have done really well to put us in in this position we're in, and you know hopefully we can um, we can go. We want to get some success this season. You know, you're in football to win trophies and, and get to national cup finals, and uh, you know that's something I've always wanted to do. For, you know, for Hibs growing up as a fan is, is, is to try and win a cup, and you know the game on Saturday is a, is a massive step in the where you know I want to be personally, and the club wants to be as a whole. Was this something specifically this season for you, you you'd set out to achieve? Because the last couple of seasons you've been in and out through injury and suspension. You wanted this campaign in particular to be a good one for you and, and one where you played, you had a lot of game time. Yeah, I think I was, I was um, you know, only suspended in the league once um, and then obviously missed a lot of, a lot of games through, through injury, which I think, uh, you know, kind of hindered my progress. I think I, I would be a little bit... Um, you know, more advanced now of not having the injuries. But, you know, I think it, it, it's good for for every uh, professional to go through their, their career and have the kind of spells and learn for them. And, you know, for the, for the sidelines, I definitely I think I've, I've uh, improved my game massively, um, you know, through video analysis and, and stuff like that I've mentioned before. So, no, I, I just, as I said, I just want to play consistently through the whole season and, you know, get success. Has COVID allowed you to be more focused on your game? We know outside, um, I, I, nothing else to attract your time or away. It's basically working home. Um, yes and no. I think um, footballers right now are, you know, obviously we're privileged that we, we can still play football and we're, you know, given that freedom to work. A lot of people are, um, you are, are very unlucky that they're, they're out of work just now. So we're, we're very fortunate for that. However, we are. You know, scrutinised for you know any little mistake we do, you know we can, um, you, you know we're very restricted of what we can do. Obviously, just like everyone else, but you know we, we are in the public eye, and any little you know, small mistake any of us make will be um, you know hammered uh, in the press. So I think yeah, we're we're definitely on that side of things. We're we're one hundred percent focused on football, but you know sometimes it's good to, to get your mind off it and, and kind of you know take the pressure off off yourself and. and, and uh, let the shackles go a little bit but nah listen we've, we've had a great start this season they slipped away a little bit at the end of December but you know now we're, we're really looking to kick on and you know start Saturday again with um, you know the cup game thanks Dan uh, Ryan oh, thanks man Ryan do you are you can you still battle scarred with what happened against Hearts and does that drive the team on going into this one um, it definitely took a while to get over uh, that one Um you know, I think having looked back at that game, many a time we've uh, we played really well. We created a lot of chances, and there was definitely you know some positives to take from it. Even though you know we've uh, we've came away with a defeat and a, and a big game, so we obviously weren't happy with that. But we played played well enough in the game to, to win two games, and um, you know, I think we need to take that experience in. Uh, uh, and at this one, I think maybe the last four, five semi-finals that you know Hibs have been in as a club, you have not won. So you know, it's definitely something that we want to rectify comes up. Yeah, I was just going to say that that I think it's eight semi-finals in the last seven seasons, but the last time you got to the final was twenty. 
when you win the Scottish Cup. And is that something that the players discuss that they've got to this stage a lot, but just not got over that line? Yeah, I think it's came up a few times. Um, you know, I don't think it's too much of a, uh, you know, a, um, like a duck that we need to break. It's, it's, it's not got to that stage now, but I think it is. It also highlights how good we have been in cup competitions. You know, we've always getting to the latter stages of it. Um, but you know, going by the Scottish Cup final, you know, that was the last time we got into the final, and anything can happen on the day. So I think as a club, we want to achieve more success. You know, regularly. And, you know, by putting ourselves in the finals, it, you know, it gives us that chance and that platform. And this one's, you know, definitely a big one. Ryan, what, oh, I'm assuming you were in and about the club in 2016 when Hibs won the, the Scottish Cup. But did that really kind of further fuel your ambition to, to win silverware for, for the club? Yeah, listen, I've, I've always wanted to do it. It's been a, you know, a, a lifelong ambition for me to win, win silverware at Hibs. Um, growing up, it's something I've always wanted to do. And, uh, you know, seeing the, the boys do it in, in 2016, it was, you know, as a fan, being there, it was, it was one of the best days of my life, you know, if not the best day. So um, it's definitely something I want for myself and, and for the, the team just now. You know, it, it opens up, you know, a lot of doors for people. If uh, you, you bring success, you'll win games and, you know, you'll get the rewards for that at the end of the season. I think that's something that the gaffer highlights quite a lot, that he wants us to get the rewards for our hard work and our good performance season. You know, losing semi-finals is, you know, definitely isn't you know, a way that you, you gain rewards and you get success. So it's definitely a, a must-win for us. I'm assuming a lot of I mean, the vast, vast majority of Hibs fans who were there that day in 2016, it was, it was obviously a, a great relief and a great... Joy for them, but were you a bit different? Were you kind of thinking ahead that you know, this could be me one day, even when that game's going on, even when the, the you know the boys are going up to lift the cup? Of course, I listen. Um, as I said, it's always been a dream, and, and to see the Dave go up, like Dave, Louis, and Paul, Daz, to, to go up there and lift the cup. You know, it's something that you know I, I, we, that I kind of realised that I wasn't too far away from. You know, we were getting to semi-finals, getting to quarter-finals, and we just need to get over the, like you know, over the line into the final, and then. Hopefully it takes care of itself, but you know, it is a massive game, a massive game Saturday. And you know, we've seen both games we've played against St Johnston. It's been a been a tough task, and um, you know, we'll take confidence for the fact that they, they haven't beat us this season. Um, but also, you know, be wary that they're uh, you know, a good team with good quality players, and they can cause us problems. Ryan, winning mm -hmm. games like Saturday semi final and, and the final, if you do get there, do you think that gives you a bigger chance of, of uh, making Steve Clark's squad in in the summer? And is that Constantly on your mind, or is it just fully focused on Hibs at the moment? Um, I think I, I am fully focused on Hibs at the moment. Um, I think good performances here, success here, um, you know, can only improve my chances of you know being in uh, you know the Scotland gaffer's mind. And uh, ultimately, I think every Scottish player wants to be at the Euros this summer, so it's going to be a you know a, a big ask for you know. A, 20, I'll be 22 at the time, so 22-year-old centre half to be going. But you know, I definitely feel that um, I'm more than capable of you know putting my name in the hat. And I think, as you said, with success this season uh, at Hibs, um, keeping as many clean sheets as we can. You know, I think we've got a fantastic defensive record in the league, and we're actually a bit disappointed that you know it, 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 it you know it could have been better. It should be better. Uh, so now, listen, my eyes are um, solely focused on. On, on Hibs just now and uh, hopefully the performances and the success that you know we, we want in the upcoming upcoming games that um, you know can force my, my way in there Steve Clark's flops Ryan you said at the top there the targets at the start of the season would start not just an extended cup run but to actually win a cup yeah definitely I, we, we want to win a cup that's it Europe and win a cup is our goals and um, had, and now we, we want to finish as high up in the league as we can. Um, you know the gap's quite tight up there, and we want to you know try and finish as high as we can. Um, but definitely we want the success. As I said, you're in this game to win trophies, get success, and, and you do that by winning semi-finals and finals. You know we've got a good enough squad to go and uh, do it. As I said, regardless of what teams are in it, still, um, and we know that there's you know three teams of you know uh, we've played this season. We've, we've beat the three teams that are in the cups um, this season so far as well, but we're also wary that you know they are good teams and they can't hurt us. So you know we go into Saturday full of confidence, 
full of belief and, and uh, the right frame of mind to, to go and win the game. Unusual, if not rare, for you to be favourites at this stage of the competition. How are you dealing with that tag? Um, I, 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 to be fair, I, I didn't know that we were, well, maybe on paper we're favourites. I think they have, they've got probably a good little run of form uh, going on, good players as well. So, listen, they're a team that we found difficult to beat this season, you know, but we have beat them. Um, so I, I wouldn't class us as you know, massive favourites. I think it'll be a going into a 50-50 game and uh, at Hamden in a semi-final. You know, it can be anyone's, but you know we've got a fantastic group of players right now. We've got strength and depth with uh, the Gaffer's recent signings, and we're um, we're in a fortunate position just now. Um, you know, we've got a full complement of players, so we'll be we'll be looking looking to go uh, uh, one step further, as I said, and reach the final. I meant more in terms of the competition as a whole, given that there's no Celtic Rangers, whatever. Yeah, listen, as I said before, our, that was our goals at the start of the season, regardless of who's you know in the cup. I think we've shown that we can uh, we can match Celtic and Rangers on their day. Um, of course, Rangers have, have been fantastic this season, and uh, it's you know a big ask to go and match them. But I think we've, we've been been more than capable in the, in, the, in the two games we've played against them and, and Celtic as well. We, you know, we're disappointed to leave Celtic apart with a point, and you know very disappointed to leave uh, Easter Road. The last time we played them with a point as well. So, listen, we, we have full belief in our squad that we could have won this cup, regardless who's in it. Um, it probably makes it, you know, a little bit mentally diff more difficult to, to, to reach that next step just because, you know, we are favourites. But, listen, we've, we've been favourites in a lot of games this season and we've done really well. So, you know, we'll just take it one step at a time and, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll get the job done on Saturday. Just finally for me, Ryan, you mentioned there in terms of league positioning. In terms of what's happening at Celtic, will you be ever presented with a better opportunity? To, to what? To finish? Second. It, no, listen, I mean, Celtic's, um, they've got a fantastic group of players. I think they've had a bad, a poor run of form, but they've, they've only lost uh, more two games this season. Um, I think they're, they're, they will um, shoot up and, and they'll get a good run going. Um, I think, obviously, uh, if we keep winning games and, and they don't, then you never know, but listen, I think with the, the squad that they have, the budget they have, I don't think, you know, we have much right to be going and, and saying that we're going to take second place. Um, so, no, nah, I, I think it's probably, you'll not get a better chance, but listen, I, I still think they're, you know, squad-wise, I think they're you know, light years ahead of, you know, the rest, other than Rangers as well. Right, just finally, in terms of the goalkeeper um, situation ahead of this weekend, are you sort of bothered who plays behind you, whether that's a fear or Matt, because he's done quite well since he's came in? No, not at all. Um, you know, off he's a, an international goalkeeper, very experienced, um, and he's fantastic to play in front of. And Matt, Matt's the same. Matt's played at a really good level, and he's came in and, and, and uh, made it you know look quite seamless. So he's a uh, so I'm not not honestly not bothered to who would play behind me. I'd be full of confidence no matter who it is. And for you personally as well, did um, leading the team to the Youth Cup in 2018 sort of give you a, a taste of what Hamden success feels like? Yeah, that was brilliant. Um, yeah, I don't think uh, I've, I really had that much time to, to look back on that because obviously I was in and about the first team at the time, but now looking back, it was brilliant to you know win a cup at Hamden regardless of what level it was and uh, I'm really quite proud of that. So definitely, I mean, it's, it's something I've always wanted to do at a first team level as I've grown up, and you know, it's a, it's a big chance just now. Ryan, can I ask you about um, Neil Lennon was talking this week about the dressing rooms um, and some of them not have, having enough social distancing. What's your experience has been like this season at away grounds? Away grounds, um, fine. I mean. I think most clubs are trying to accommodate people the, the best they can. Um, I think most changing room, I, I mean, about every changing room I've, I've been in, it seems to be fine. I've not really had an issue with it. You know, maybe that's because we've not touched wood, but we've not recorded a you know a proper positive test, and you know we've been pretty fortunate. Don't know. I, I'm not sure if that's because we're following protocols uh, right or whatever. Or it's just luck. You know, some some people can be just unlucky. So we'll, we'll, listen, I, I don't have a much a problem, not really thought about too much, you know, when on game days I'm not really thinking of social distancing uh, at all really, I'm, I'm, I'm more focused on, you know, trying to win the game because it's, you know, enough pressure, enough 
uh, emotions going through the game to, to be thinking of you know other things like that. Of course, it's it's important uh, you know part of today's uh, world, but I think once you stop step over that white line, you you know you very very rarely think of it. As a player, you've not had any any issues at all about thinking that's not safe or or whatever. Um, listen, I, th I think personally, no, for me, but for for other people, I mean, if you are, there's a lot, you know, there's a few boys in our squad that have family members that have, um, you know, maybe close friends that that could be affected by it, um, and for me, it's a massive problem. I mean, a lot of, and a lot of people are dying for it, and a lot of people are affected by it, so. That right there proves it as a problem, and we do need to be following the protocols correctly because there's a lot of people affected by it, and there's people in here that might not get affected by it. Footballers might not, but immediate family are, are definitely something that that I'm very wary of. Even if it's not my family, I can I, I would be uh, you know nothing worse than seeing a, a, a teammate's you know family member suffer for us not following the rules.